from this to this, London's constantly changing building landscape. This video is about a block of land near Victoria Railway Station called the Tackbrook Triangle. This site was a real mixture of a closed pub, the Duchess of Clarence, shops, some old buildings, old hotel, a row of listed terraced houses and a triangle of land with billboards on it. That's what it was. It became a mixed use site of NHS centre, flats and houses. This video highlights the changes, shows some of the demolition and building stages and provides some history of the structures and buildings. The change is striking. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Brought to you by Eclectic Experience, change seen through images. Travelling from Victoria Station, past the Apollo Theatre, towards Vauxhall Bridge. But on Vauxhall Bridge Road, on the right, you come across an eclectic mix of buildings. The Tackbrook Triangle Development. I was fortunate enough to be able to photograph the site in 2001, before construction, then during and after the development, so it's possible to see the change. The development is on a triangle of land on Vauxhall Bridge Road, a major road, the A202, with Warwick Way and Upper Tackbrook Street making up the other two sides of the triangle. Barrett's, who developed the site, actually won a Housing Design Award in 2007 in the Large House Builder category for this site. It was particularly challenging as it contains a row of terraced houses, the ones that face Foxhill Bridge Road, that are listed and date from the early 1800s. Also, these buildings required underpinning, but when that was happening, it was found that they actually sit on an enclosed river, the Tack Brook, which again added to the numerous complications of this site. Working our way around the triangle, this is what the listed terraced housing looked like in 2001, before the work started. We can see quite a few of the houses have been used for business purposes in the past and they have shop fronts. All but one of these go. But a balcony in one of the central units remains. We also see the iron railings look like they could be in a bad way and plants are growing out of a basement and out of a roof. It also looks like some of the basements have been covered up. The buildings also have a variety of finishes, from brick to painted. Well, this is the change. Looking at the 2006 pictures, we can see the completed project with the properties dressed for sale. Quite a difference. It is now a lot easier to pick out the various architectural features, such as the arches above the windows. The basements and railings have all been standardised. And if we look at the end unit, we can see the shop front has been retained and even had replacement tiles added. Back to 2001 and working our way around the triangle, we come to the pub. On the way we get a clear view of the derelict condition of some of the buildings. The Duchess of Clarence Pub was fairly big and has a date on the wall of 1927, though an older pub of the same name may well have been on the same site for a very long time. On the closed pub's website, it says the Duchess of Clarence was one of the sites where the Chartists gathered petitions in 1839, ready to deliver to Parliament. For information, the Chartists were a group who had a major impact on the path to democratic change in Britain and operated between 1838 to 1848. Moving round the corner to Warwick Way in 2001, we see that there are several shops next to the pub that have all been boarded up by this time. An interesting sight, as these are very rare now, is the record shop, Elite Records. And this is how the views changed on these two corners, from 2001 to 2007. The last side of the triangle on Upper Tackbrook Street is really interesting due to the mix of what was there in 2001 and also what was done on the sliver of land at the end. Starting at the corner of Warwick Way, this was very much a retail street back in 2001, with several small shops. One that is interesting is Tate Pottery. I wonder if it is a coincidence that Tate Britain is just up the road. 
As well as the shops, we get to see the backs of the listed terrace buildings on Vauxhall Bridge Road. We can see that a couple of them had previously been a hotel. Though, judging by the missing slates, they were by this time in a poor state of repair. Also note the poor state of repair of this piece of wall. A sliver of land at the end can only just be made out from this side. But if we look at it from the other side, and then a shot from in between the hoardings, we get a better idea. This is what the new building on the sliver of land looked like in 2005. It maximised every square millimetre of land. And this is how the view on Upper Tackbrook Street looked in 2001 and then in 2007. The next sequences take us from the 2001 pictures to completion on each side, including the demolition and construction work. And now, in 2022, 15 years after completion, this is what they look like. They've worn pretty well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, please click the like button. I'll be making more similar videos, so please subscribe for future releases. Links to videos on how London has changed can be seen at the end. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.